Now, a once-in-a-lifetime show courtesy of Mother Nature. For the first time in more than three centuries, a lunar eclipse will occur on the same day as the winter solstice. And you might be able to see the whole thing from your backyard. I went to news reporter T.J. Del Santo has the story now. New at 6 from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The last total lunar eclipse was in 2008. The next one that we'll be able to see is in 2014. So if Mother Nature cooperates tonight, this would be a good time to see one of these for yourself. The last time a lunar eclipse occurred on the same day as the winter solstice, the pilgrims were still settling into eastern Massachusetts. That doesn't have any real scientific meaning per se. Dean David Targan of Brown University said that part is more of a coincidence. As he explains, an eclipse occurs as the result of a specific alignment in the solar system. What we see is the shadow of the Earth uh, passing over the moon or the moon passing through the shadow of the Earth. The eclipse will begin around 1.30 a.m. It first starts looking like a little cutout, a little black cutout, uh, which is uh, the curvature of uh, the Earth's shadow. The total eclipse will begin at 2.41 a.m. and last about 72 minutes. By that point, uh, you should see what we call totality and some hint of orange. And then uh, the question is, and it's a big unknown, how red or orange it'll actually be. The moon appears to be red or orange because of indirect light from the moon refracting through the atmosphere. Dust in the atmosphere from volcanic eruptions earlier this year in Iceland and Indonesia could create a deep red moon. But Targan cautions that too much dust could actually take away that reddish glow. The entire show will end around 5 a.m. and you don't need a telescope or binoculars. Really the best way to view it is, is naked eye. And of course to see the show you need clear skies or at least some holes in the clouds. And we'll let Tony tell you the updated information about that. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm T.J. Del Santo, Eyewitness News.